Welcome to Fisher of Men, and thanks for uh, viewing and listening. Please remember to like and subscribe, and please share this. Since this is the new pandemic coming down the pike, the SPARS pandemic 2025, a futuristic scenario for public health risk communications, put out by the Johns Hopkins Center for Health and Security. It's on their website. I'll leave a link below. You can click onto it and uh, view the entire uh, pamphlet here they have. It is a total of, um, uh, they have, it's 89 pages long. So uh, it is, uh, you can go through it and read it. It's quite fascinating. Uh, definitely a uh, the next, the same exact kind of thing that they came out with in 2017. When, uh, you know, uh, Dr. You know, Fauci there said that, you know, there was going to be a pandemic in a year or two. And then, you know, voila, there was one. So anyways, we have our no new one out here. And um, it is going to be released sometime around 2025. So this is the scenario that they have out here. Um, there is a... Uh, Many things in it uh, that's uh, of interest here. So let's, let's take a look at page eight. So we have, uh, uh, let's see, I'm sorry, is it the, yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, eight. It was the, the echo chamber. So the problem of the echo chamber, okay, this is, you know, what the left accuses the right of is creating an echo chamber when it is actually them who create the echo chambers. They're the, they control the big uh, social media platforms. They, kick people off of their platforms so that only leftist points of view can be heard on the big platforms such as Twitter, Facebook, you know, the drill. And then um, the the right ones go over to other platforms, smaller, less known platforms. And on there, there we're called the echo chamber over there, uh, as though we created those on our own, you know, not because they forced us out of the uh, sphere, uh, sphere of, you know, the, the new uh, social construct that we have on these social media platforms. So anyways, um, you know, they go through that and talk about basically this new pandemic. The biggest battle is going to be over the misinformation that is spread on social media platforms and the fear that it causes over their, uh, you know, vaccine hesitancy and stuff they've seen with uh, you know, that they found with this current pandemic uh, and their problems getting everybody to, on board to be vaccinated. So they went over all the scenarios that they might have to uh, help alleviate these problems. And so some of the other things that were discussed about here is, you know, where the outbreak is going to begin. And this one, it begins in the Philippines. I believe it is. I'm sorry, that was not the right one. It was the Philippines, is where it's uh, where they're saying it's going to uh, first break out from, and then come to Amer come to Minnesota. So it's going to be uh, first cases will be found in Minnesota, according to their scenario here. And so this is the same exact kind of thing you had with the COVID nineteen. This is a uh, you know this is all predicted and rehearsed and. Uh, you know, so every, you know, everything was known, you know, there was lockdown right away, you know, all the kind of, uh, things that they did, everybody lived through it. And so there's no need explaining all that, but this is, this one here is kind of like a scenario. They go through all of the things that happened in the COVID, uh, 19 release and the things that went wrong in this. Now they're putting them all front and center. And now they're like, okay. They're not saying this. This is like a whole story. Basically, it's like if you read through it, it's basically just like a little book of what the next uh, pandemic will be like in SPARS. And, and uh, Bill Gates just a few weeks back said that, you know, there would be another uh, uh, bigger pandemic, more deadlier one here in the new, near future. Well, this is it. So anyways, uh, that's what they, they're saying, not me. 
And um, you can look it up right for yourself on John Hopkins. You know, it gives you the if you read through here on stuff like these little CDC things, like anybody trusts the CDC anymore. You know what I mean? Everybody knows that the CDC is nothing more than the DNC. The FDA is DNC. The FBI is DNC. We all know this. So, uh, you know, there's no trust in the media. And they're, they're trying to figure out how they, uh, you know, fix these issues. So with their new... Uh, um, with their new pandemic scenario. So anyways, you have, uh, you know, of course, the answer is always, you know, the drug, drug manufacturers, right? So, uh, you know, a potential vaccine, you know, they're going to come out with a new vaccine. They got the name of it here, you know, the HMRV vax, you know, and then they got the stories about all the people saying that, uh, you know, you know, that, you know, at first the same thing you had here when they were at the vaccines release and people were saying, Hey, you know, you get sick and it makes you, you know, get chills and this and that they're saying, you know, they're going to, you know, try, try to figure out how they're going to deal with these, you know, this misinformation where people, you know, are, you know, actually living when they get sick, you know, but, uh, you know, they're not dying from the, the virus or whatever. So, Anyways, you have uh, different things like that, you know, in here. Quite fascinating to look at, you know. Here's what they're really worried about, though. As you go through this, it's page after page speaking about uh, the information that's out there. And, uh, you know, how do you contain the information is what they're really uh, interested about. Here you have a couple of, you know, fake like Twitter Posts where a local child vomits immediately after taking this vaccine, which they called Calokiver or something like that. And I wonder how I will ever give it. And, 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 and you wonder why I will never give it to my child, you know, and it says this vaccine is poison or whatever, this uh, scenario vaccine. And then so the, uh, you know, another person here puts his tweet up and it's seen by, you know, thousands and millions of retreats and stuff like that. And this is the reason why. You know, you get vaccine hesitancy is, you know, of course, everybody knows this. And uh, these are, you know, reasons no matter what they do, trying to stifle that people post what they want to post. And you, the, their algorithms and stuff like that just can't keep up with it. And of course, when you start blocking that stuff, people start calling it different names. Instead of saying vaccine, they say, you know, Joe's cookies or the clot shot or whatever like that. So these are the kinds of things that are, are uh, discussed in here. And then uh, as you move through it, it starts showing out how they start putting out the true facts and the real information. So, you know, the same kind of thing that, you know, we see with, uh, uh, you know, COVID uh, vaccines and stuff like that and how that's progressed and how they're trying to control the narrative. And um, so then you start getting the, uh, you know, a couple of interesting things. So, uh, and twenty. Let me take a look at here. It was, uh, yeah. So there's a couple of different things. So they have the president. See, the new president leaves office. It says that the president during the this this previous uh, time or whatever during 2020 to 2024, his name is Bennett. Okay, his name is President Bennett, and he has and. President Bennett has to leave office and doesn't seek his second term in 2025 because of an illness, okay, because he's not well, all right? So that's what the story here says. So obviously that's Biden who is that. So these guys are saying Biden is definitely not running in 2025, okay? And then also this says here that a new NI. A new NIAH director will be appointed. And who is that, folks? That is uh, Anthony Fauci currently. So Fauci will be gone. Fauci is going bye-bye. He's lost credibility with the people, and they're going to be replacing him uh, because people don't, uh, uh, people don't um, uh, trust Fauci. Uh, you know, especially on the, on the right and independents and the right. The only people who do really are the Democrats. Uh, so let's see here. Um, maybe it's down one more page. Yeah. So Fauci is going bye bye according to this uh, scenario they have here, which I'm sure he will. 
and you can we can everybody can probably already have predicted these things ourselves. And then um, uh, down in 27 is you know basically these are the one is how to stop the spread of you know fake information and stuff like that. So this is the kind of things that are discussed in this scenario that Johns Hopkins has laid out in their website there. So uh, anyways, uh, we know when the next one's coming. 2025-ish, right around there. Be no surprise, probably uh, right in time for a new president. Probably, you know, needs to be released at the front of a new president who might begin with a T and end with a P. And so, uh, you know, they're thinking about releasing it at the front of the presidency of the new president, which is if they if the voting laws are, are voting scams and stuff like that are dealt with in individual states, you know, the Democrats aren't liking their chances in 2025. So, uh, you know, we'll see what happens with that. No one knows yet. But anyways, uh, food for thoughts. This is what's being put out there, not by me, but by John Hopkins. Anyways, this is the big movers and shakers in the industry here. And you can be sure Bill Gates' his hand fingerprints are all over it. So uh, thanks for watching Fish Serve Men. Be sure to like and share and share this on your platforms. That's the way this information gets out. That's the way. That's the only way that my channel will grow. It gets it's completely deboosted. Uh, it can't be monetized. I get absolutely no money for any of this. Uh, it's all uh, just you know when I have time to do some videos and stuff like that. I've seen this information. Figured people needed to hear it. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later. Goodbye.